I was not going to get this from Ferrari. I don't think I'm their friends. This is a lot of work. How much is it? So I'm here with the 2019 812 Superfast that I got from Copart, where it was supposedly totaled. Uh, obviously, if you've been watching the videos, you know that it's really not. Uh, we've got a clean checkoff sheet for mechanics and electronics and pneumatics and everything that go into it, and the frame and any of the essential parts. This car underneath and drivability is good to go. Biggest thing I've been working on lately is trying to get the right parts to maybe massage the body back into shape. Now, what they told us was from here back, and it was gonna have all this damage. It had a little bit of uh, mechanical damage down here, and then to get this back quarter panel was the hardest part. And I mean, I was searching everywhere. I found the small parts, and I did finally find the right guys. It's called Parts for USA, and if you don't know about these guys, you gotta check them out. They're out of Vegas. They got a couple of offices on the other side of the pond. David, what's up? Hello, Richard. You are oh, saving good. my life, man. <laughs> Thank you, you Richard. I was not going to get this from Ferrari. I don't think I'm their friends. Uh, but uh, you guys had one, got it over here, and uh, that's the last biggest piece of the puzzle. So then I can decide what I want uh, to do with with building it. So what what do we got? Completely quarter panel for the 812 on the right side. Yeah, it's a brand new part, so that is freaking rad. <laughs> so there we go. Don't scratch it. <laughs> we'll try. That's going to be rad. And so this is a brand new part from Ferrari. That's correct. This is a brand new <laughs> part from boo -boo Ferrari. Ferrari. It's very hard to get because it's SAT, so it's a restricted part. So we can get this thing in, get it done. And if you got any kind of uh, exotic vehicle out there, these guys deal with everything, Porsche, Lamborghini, Mercedes, Bugatti. you name it, Bugattis, Ferraris. Don't let these people tell you that these cars are totaled. They're ripping you off and making you go buy another one. It's like a double whammy. There's nothing wrong with this car. You watch and see what I did. Phipps was excited to be on camera because of what he just found in the back of the Galaxy. If y'all didn't know, the Galaxy, we didn't have any keys for it. So he went, we got a key being made right now since he's a little impatient right now. He, he, he wants to take this back seat out and go through the hole. And as soon as we took the seat out, there's a lot of mystery things in there. First thing I find is the number nine. Two corn cobs. Who was eating the corn cobs? The Liberty Bell. If you look behind the Liberty Bell, or life preserver. Some, somebody actually took this being a boat, literally. Once I get in here, but I've already found a bunch of spiders. And, uh, spiders can kind of freak me out. So if you hear me yell, drag me out. Look at that. You get a fish. Oh my God, what's all in here? Look at this. Well, I'm just happy to see that you brought your safety device I, I, I know. to this. Oh, look. Check that out, though. Look, look at this. Look at these little ladder bars. Look at, we could have used these. Two on shifters. The, we could have used these on the pin pedal. Okay. Y'all just gonna leave me laying here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fucking shit. Uh, I'm gonna put it down, ain't I? Okay. We got a new ribbit gun. Ribbit gun. Ribbit, ribbit. Look at this bumper jack, would you? This guy had a lot of flats. Okay, so this, that's on the bumper. Right here. And you go. What? Here's another one. This is so you can do both sides. I like it. I like it a lot. Part of the bell. I'm bell. so happy. <laughs> it's a Taekwondo instructional book. Hold it, hold it. Oh no! Hold it. This is gonna show a kick. A kick. Huh. Hi y'all! And then you're gonna, yeah, see? Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Well, I can't read that, so that would be the um, 
front kick, double fisted. <laughs> Ow! He didn't do anything. Well, that's hard as a rock. <laughs> this guy was a badass because I just hit the shit out of that. Look at my knuckles. <laughs> no, don't kick my face. <laughs> Turn it around. <laughs> oh, he held it up here. I'm short, Kenny. Bruce Lee's gonna flow like water. I'm not sure how that helps yet. Hey, we have a win. <laughs> What are those? Extra small rubbers. So you might need these. That's disgusting. Touch. So if you don't know, now you're gonna know. This is a brand new 2023 TRX that we've decked out with a lot of our friends and uh, we are giving it away to benefit inner city youth. We're heading over to r, &R Boxing Gym. It's about two miles from the shop. We're gonna do some good there. We're gonna meet some people, tell some stories. And what they don't know is I got 30 freaking seats for the upcoming fight and I'm gonna take them there. So get you some of this. So uh, here we are at r, r Boxing Gym. Like I said, it's just a couple of miles from Gas Monkey Garage. Um, this gym's been here a very long time. The, the guy that owns it grew up right here in this neighborhood. Uh, was pretty much on his own since uh, he was a young kid. And uh, he decided he wanted to give back to the community. And this is what it's all about. This is, you know, inner city, helping the youth that don't have anywhere else to go, don't have anywhere else to go learn. You can learn a lot of things in a gym, uh, and especially a boxing gym. Not only self-respect, but taking up for yourself, but also a little bit about the world and the things that are going on in your neighborhood. This is grassroots at its best. Let's go see Arnold. So we're here at R&R uh, &R Boxing Club with uh, Andreas, who you said your nickname is? Uh, Mayhem. Mayhem! What, what is this about for you? I'm trying to get a skill you can't get through money or you can't get through buying stuff, you know? I want a skill that you have to work hard for, you have to sweat blood and tears, because regardless, at the end of the day, you work hard for this, um, no, no one's going to take it away. They can take away money, but they can't take away a skill set. Can't take away your heart either. Yeah, you so. know, so uh, that's what it's all about. So how many years is that you've been coming in? Since like about almost, I have almost 10 years boxing. Almost 10 about years boxing. Years. Roger's a pretty good cat. I know he's not here today, but I came in and talked to him last week. Uh, uh, you like the way that he's uh, running his shop? When I figured, found Roger, I, I figured that each day was a learning day for me. And that's how I want to do it. I want to improve every day to just keep getting better and better. How many times a week do you come? I come five days out of the week. What's your ultimate goal? What is your dream? Uh, to be world champion one day and inspire others um, who come from the same similar struggle that I came from, that anything is possible, as long as you don't give up. Because my dad went to jail, my mom's in Mexico, and I'm taking care of my brother and sister, right? So I own my own, own business, but I'm still like taking care of them and everything, And but at the same time, I'm still pushing for my dream every day, because no matter how life, put you in situations, that shouldn't be no reason to give up. It should be more of a reason to keep going forward and not give up and fight for what you really want for Because something I learned is that life is always going to be a struggle. So it's better to struggle for something you want than to struggle just for struggling. What and kind of business do you run? Uh, granite countertops. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to my business, Tokyo Granite. Um, if y'all ever need some granite, let me know. I got y'all with the good price here in Dallas, Texas. If y'all could have something here that you don't have, what would it be? What do you think this gym's lacking? I think just better equipment, but overall, we, we, we come here to put in the work. You know, this is not just, it does not what looks for matter, you know? It's more about, we come in here to put in blood and, and sweat and tears, because like I said, we, we're trying to accomplish something not everybody can just do, you know? I tell you what, man, I wish Roger was here, but I'm very uh, uh, thankful that you guys let me come in the gym this morning and uh, disrupt your workout. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna get on out of here, but i tell you what, I told Roger the other day, I got 30 sets of uh, tickets on August the 5th, Jake Paul against Diaz. I wanted to pass them out today, but you know what Roger told me? He goes, no. Nah. He goes, I'm going to give it to people who put in the work, the guys who show up, the guys who work out and do what they're supposed to do. So I'm going to give those seats to him and let him dole them out. 
and I'll see you guys all at the fight, all right? Kick ass, man. Thank y'all very much. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you then. Maybe I need to join. Well, okay, so I did the brakes on this uh, 63 and a half Galaxy, hard lines and everything. It's it been sitting up in Iowa. Uh, and it's it's been a struggle, but the carburetors, but it's a 427 R code, which is way cool. Drive, here we go. Still running. I think something's dragging there, Phipps. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Just take this off. So we'll turn around and uh, try this again, guys. Hey, what'd you expect? <laughs> Test drive. Well, I hope Richard's not in his office. Woohoo! We made it back! What was the noise when you were uh, driving by my office? It was awesome. Kind of let go. But it was doing good for since something's been sitting since, what, 92, I think is what we figured out, right? Yeah, I have no idea, but tie that up as best you can. I just need to know that it's going to run and drive because somebody's going to restore it. Oh. We don't need to go any further than being able to tell them it Ready runs and Okay, so round two. Maybe round three. Uh oh. Here we go. Let's go for a ride, Phipps. Did you test the radio? Nah. Yeah, it don't work. But the old generator didn't give up on me. Gas gauge works. Pretty proud of her, dude. Well, like I say, man, most of the time they'll, they'll start and run. Maybe not the best. Not at first. But it worked. Anybody that buys this is going to rebuild it oh, anyway. Yeah. They're going to be taken with it with all the good as it is. <laughs> no, for something that didn't look like it was going to do it, huh? Yeah, I just think it's cool, you know, bucket seat, console, four speed, 427, dual fours. Heavy duty rear end. Big brakes. She ain't liking it. I think that's good work. Give it a shot, huh? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Okay. Let's not mess with it too much more. She ran, she drove, and then she gave up. So uh, I think it's out of gas, and the engine died, so... Uh, all in all, I say it's a thumbs up. You're going to need a thumbs up. I'm walking back. It's thumbs out. So now that we got the pieces in, I got Mike Coy coming in to try to put it all together and get it ready to go out to create a bespoke in Scottsdale, Arizona, so that we can do a carbon fiber wide body kit. But first, we gotta get it put back together the way it would've came from the factory. You know, it's amazing you spend four or 500 grand for one of these cars and you think you're getting all the performance, everything, and they put this giant speaker grill and they give you this tiny little earbud. They just like mounted an earbud there, tiny little speaker. And it gets you, it gets you on every corner. I ever tell you I have no clue what I'm doing? 100% just winging it. No matter how we weld it back together, it's gotta look better than these like bubble gum looking, looking welds. Of course, I'm not gonna weld it, that'd be Josh. But hey, Ferrari. Does Whistling Diesel take pliers to his Ferraris? Sorry guys, it's something that has to happen. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about being able to do this to a, how much is this car? Four, 500? But I mean, it has to to come off. Somebody in, in YouTube lands like that's not proper procedure it is here buddy Ferrari so uh, my friend Solomon from Ford era is here and if you haven't been following his pages Ford era era he really finds some killer trucks and uh, he told me he was bringing one by today my wife uh, you know she wanted me to stay home a little bit extra this morning so I'm here and I'm in a good mood hey man uh, sorry about being late my no. uh, my wifey was like, uh, hey, why don't you stay for a minute? At least you guys let us out of the heat, so yeah. it was nice. So, man, you're driving this all the way back home? Well, I drove it all the way here. So we just, we came out for a classic truck throwdown this past weekend, and I drove this out, I think, 
I don't know exactly. I think I had like 1,400 miles on it so far. Look at 2014. that. 2014. Right. Unbelievable. It's a 2014 Roush Raptor swap. Like it's actually every single thing from a Roush Raptor. They didn't even modify the length of the chassis. They just, they stretched the cab to make it fit. That was going to be my first question. Did they cut the chassis? Nope. So 100% bone stock. The reason why he wanted to do that is that way you could go to your Ford dealership. If anything happens, you're like, here's a 2014 Raptor service. I went before this trip, $32 oil change, full synthetic. Just went straight to the dealership. No problem. Unbelievable. Yeah. So is it titled? As a Raptor or as a as an old Ford? It's a 79 F-150. Oh, I love it. But it's the full... I'm sure the dealership kids just... Dude, they went crazy. They don't know what to do. Yeah. I made the video for my channel. It was super funny. So, okay. So you said they stretched the door. Yes. So they, right down the middle of the door, they put about four inches. And uh, he had to make custom curved glass. So just the glass in this truck or just for this truck. There's no other truck with it and um, they stretched the cab and then got everything to fit. And it uses modern weather strips. So like when you're actually in it, it's super quiet. That is freaking cool. I bet you people just freak out. Remote start works. Oh, that's so cool. It's the Roush Raptor. So this one's the supercharged one with the Roush exhaust. I think it's got like 700-ish horsepower. It's so, so the original idea was make front and back fit and just stretch the cab to whatever we need. Yeah, make it just a perfect, like, imagine if they had a 79 Raptor, but in, you know, modern days. So like every single thing is redone on it. Um, even like in the tailgate, it has the backup camera like perfectly installed, all the sensors, I mean, everything. I did hot rod power tour with it two and a half weeks ago, the entire power tour, no issue, long hauler. I mean, it's got the SVT, you know, suspension and, I mean, it's a Raptor. Ford builds great trucks. That's a lot of work on the cab and the doors, though, man. Wait till you see me pop the hood. All right, let's see that. This thing is freaking cool. I'm not sure about the color, but it's freaking rad. Why did they go with yellow? They did a red and white one, a yellow and white one, and a blue and white one. This one is the only one that's uh, Roush. So this one's got the full Roush setup, um, and it's 2014, which was the latest of the Gen 1s. So this one has like the front cameras, the backup cameras that it's like the best of whatever the raptor gen ones were but we didn't want to modify it and go too crazy so it's all the best stock stuff so who built this this was built by uh sweet brothers resto mods out of upton wyoming and then sweet. literally sweet and they asked me if i could you know put it out there for sale i drive i i mean my youtube channel is me just driving trucks and they're like hey there's nobody better that can show people we build trucks that drive than here just take the truck drive it, use it, and if you find someone that wants to buy it, sell it. How much is it? So, I mean, we're asking 275, but you know, for you, you could probably do like, you know, 265. I could trade you for some stuff. Uh, you want a whole bunch of Ferraris? You have bullet <laughs> holes in them. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Man, I don't know. I mean, I, I know what it takes to build this, so that price doesn't, doesn't sound like a bad price and it's today you know what i mean like you could actually hop in it and drive anywhere freaking cool I'm not sure about the yellow or the wood grain <laughs> i was i wasn't a fan of the white and yellow seats but after driving and really just using it and driving the truck it grows on you and the one thing i will say about the yellow is i've never had a truck that gets more people asking about the thing if it was green it'd probably be sold huh green it would probably be sold gonna go for a drive heck yeah dude Kind of hot outside. Hey, seat seats, okay. kick ass. This is freaking awesome. I'm surprised nobody's jumped on this already. This is so freaking cool. I mean, being in an old school truck and just this is rad. It actually, it feels like it feels like a new truck. Safe. And it's quiet. That's like, you probably didn't realize that part. Usually you hop in one of these trucks and every single, everything is letting in all the air. Exactly. Just a lot of manpower cutting off, uh, cutting this cab all the way across and lining it all up. And they did a great job. Even the headliner you can't even tell? Uh-uh. I can't even tell where they cut it here. I can still see some of the pinch welds. This is freaking great. You gotta really open her up, dude. I'm 
might have to have one of these. Holy cow. It'd be crazy to cut one of your TRXs up. Ooh. Yeah, but the Dodges of this era aren't as good looking a truck. I agree. They're just not. 78s are my favorite. Uh, I've had so many of them. Not as many as you, of course. <laughs> You're like the king of that shit. Honestly, you, you really uh, inspired me a lot back in the day. Like when you guys built the green truck, uh -huh. that like that changed my life in a little bit. Right on. So it's kind of surreal that we get to do this and hang out and that you get to enjoy a truck that you know I get to enjoy. It's really cool. Yeah, this is super freaking cool. I know why they did the wood, because the old truck would have had the wood green stuff. Actually, it's because they had to narrow the dash. So you don't Wait notice it, but the dash is all cut up. And then they had to, so that way, it looks like a rafter dash, but a rafter is much wider. Really? Yeah, it's like an inch and a half you wider. You damn sure don't notice, that's for sure. Nope. The whole top of this is all custom built. And that's why. It's like a lot of subtle things that you wouldn't notice. Like the door panels are one-off door panels, but they inserted the Raptor stuff. Like, so that way it has a little bit of OE, but also this the guy that This is a lot, a lot of work for, you know, 275 grand. I think it was closer to 400 when they built it. cruise with like a hundred just freaking people out. Was that an old board? Damn. It's a lot of fun. The best thing that's had is cruise control. Without cruise control I have a lot of speeding tickets to this highway. Oh, I would drive this like a total asshole at all times. Man, I'm tempted. If it was green, I'd have probably bought it. Super rad. All right. That is the coolest thing I've driven in a very long time. Drives like a brand new truck. Everything works, cold AC, cruise controls fast, it feels good, it doesn't rattle. Solomon, thanks for coming by. Thanks for bringing this, it is badass. I gotta tell you, if you're not following Solomon at uh, FordEra.com, you're crazy. If you want a Ford truck, he's got the Ford truck for you. Uh, even if you want one that pretends it's a Raptor. So get you some of that. Hey, why don't we put this on uh, my channel, we'll put something on yours, let's go see what's going on in Gasma. Let's do it. Make a tour. So that, this line here is where the roof skin attaches to our quarter panel skin. But the roof skin actually lays on top of our quarter panel. So I'm gonna have to go with Josh and see how he wants to tackle that one. Because we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to cut it through there, but we don't wanna, we don't wanna ruin the roof skin getting the quarter panel off and then getting the new skin back underneath it because it's actually underneath the roof skin. Like I can show you on the new panel. This is where it's at, and our roof skin actually sits on top here, and then it gets welded to there. So to get that off of there, we're gonna end up destroying the roof skin, and we don't wanna do that, so. But we don't have a lot of room to play here either, which sucks, because normally you would. Damn Ferrari. What the fuck? So your air travels in through this hole and then out through this hole. But for what? I mean, as far as I can tell, there's no actual function behind it. Because you wouldn't think that would be for like any kind of downforce or aerodynamics, I wouldn't think. I don't know, dude. It's like somebody went mudding in it or something. Do me a favor, Mike. Can you move your feet that? Not that way. Oh, you want me to move them like this? Yeah. Move them up in the air and bend over. <laughs> I'm serious, folks. <laughs> when you know shit's fucking happening. Ferrari. I'm about ready to actually fit the quarter panel, believe it. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is. Once I get this piece out, then I can slide our quarter panel on and kind of see if anything else is bent or pushed. It's close, man. So 
got all the old crap cut off, all the old crushed up quarter panel. Luckily, this quarter panel came with everything you needed to change it, which it came with more than what I thought it would, which is pretty awesome. And then we had this back panel that was wadded up. Other than that, had some suspension damage that you already took care of. So as far as structural and cosmetic stuff, we are 75% there. There's a very special rivet that they use on this. We need to make sure and find that because it's a structural piece. Um, so we're waiting on that. And then we will do some gluing, welding, and riveting these quarter panels and panels back on and then it can go to carbon fiber wide body. shape more for that than me no so i am not doing it yeah i just i don't know maybe there's not enough distance between my knees you know what i'm talking about though <laughs> <laughs> hey so we got it all based out everything's back to white back where it should be i had to blend into the roof blend into the door but it's where it needs to be so now we gotta throw some clear coat on and probably do about three coats of this My baby's all loaded up, 812 super fast. We got her all fixed thanks to Parts for USA. Uh, we got the quarter panel on. Mike Coy came in, got everything done perfectly. Uh, I know you're gonna say it's not finished because it doesn't have a back bumper. Well, it's going to, and it's gonna be carbon fiber. So it's going out to Creative V-Smoke in Scottsdale, Phoenix area. And they are going to go crazy with this build. We are literally putting wheels, exhaust and tune. We're throwing a uh, Duke Dynamics full carbon fiber body kit on this 812. It's going to be sick. Everything from the front to the back. We just had to get it put back together the way it's supposed to be so that when we're cutting and doing, everything's gonna fit just right. Cy over at Creative Bespoke is doing it. Uh, the reason why, just time. We do not have the time here. We've got some other things going on. And Creative Bespoke out there in Scottsdale, they know what they're doing and they do the best work on these cars and high and expensive cars. So I trust Cy and his team and well, for the first time ever, we couldn't get a driver to come pick up a car and take it somewhere. So Kenny's got a dumb arm. I mean, that's been, it, it, I don't know, dumb's the word. Yeah, dumb, because he messed it up himself. So it's a dumb arm, and uh, but he can drive. So he's gonna take it out there, thousand mile trip. 
to lovely Scottsdale and uh, off we go. On the road trip obviously we got the 812 right here that we're taking it over to phoenix to get this wide body done uh no issue so far we stopped to get some gas and then on the way we did i did find a little issue and little issue right here that should not be shaking like that so uh, the license plate bracket broke off so luckily we were able to get a whole bunch of tools set up for any possible situation. So I'm gonna try to self tap that thing in and then get back on the road, get going over there and try to make this car become wide body and one of a kind. Last and final update, made it to Phoenix, where Creative Spoke is at. Their headquarters is based out of here. Just got the A12 off the trailer, handed them the keys, ready to get done for SEMA. Now it's time to head back to Dallas. <laughs>